Good morning. Welcome to Sunday Weekly News Analysis. This is based on news headlines compiled by Mr. Nishad Abdul Karim from 31st January to 6th February. From the leading news portals of Malayala Manorama, Mother Bhumi, Hindu, Indian Express, Reuters, CNN and other leading news agencies. I am Arun Lakshman analyzing the last week's news headlines. First, let's analyze the COVID-19 news. COVID continues to rage in Kerala, reports 6,288 new infections. Kerala records 6,356 new COVID-19 cases on Wednesday. Case load rises to 9.4%. Over 21% Indians exposed to COVID-19, says ICM Zero Survey. COVID vaccination for people above 50 will begin from March, Harsha Vardhan. UK variant has mutated again. Scientists say Japan set to extend state of emergency for another month. So we see that COVID vaccine is in action and we hope so that within a year we will be able to overcome the COVID-19 crisis. But still Kerala has to be on guard. Now let's analyze the regional news. Vishwas Mehta to be appointed as Chief Information Commissioner. A. Vijay Raghavan slams K. Sudhagaran for insulting Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan. War of words. UDF calls for Hartal in Vainar on Monday. Social distancing or social closing. Amma gets a headquarters to be inaugurated by Mamuti Mohanlal. Superstars in limelight. Kerala's first human milk bank to be opened on February 5th. Raju Narayana Swami appointed as Principal Secretary for Parliamentary Affairs. Back into action. P.K. Kunyalikuti resigns Lok Sabha MP. Eyeing bigger P. Amid COVID-19 challenges, Kerala completed 6,000 digital classes. Great achievement. Prime Minister Modi lords Kerlite Rajapin who cleans Vembanad Lake despite physical challenges. If there is a will, there is a way. Now let's analyze the national news. Union Budget 2021 Center allocates rupees 65,000 crore for roads in Paul bound Kerala. Income tax slabs remains unchanged. Punjab and Haryana High Court says wife eligible for family pension even if she murders husbands. Husbands be on guard. 4G mobile internet services being restored in entire Jammu and Kashmir. Hope statehood will be restored soon. Now let's analyze the international news. UK under pressure to end support for Saudi Arabia's war in Yemen. Alexei Navalny, WHO, Greta Thunberg and Donald Trump among nominees for Nobel Prize. Trumpeting irony. Military coup in Myanmar as Suu Kyi detained, turning a deaf ear to democracy. Denmark, digital corona passport will be ready in months, masked or unmasked. Rehana Greta Thunberg anger India by supporting farmer protests. Truth is bitter. Now let's analyze the obituary news. Cinematographer P.S. Nivas passes away. C.V. Jacob, pioneer of Kerala, value-added spice industry passes away. May their soul rest in peace. Now let's analyze the vocabulary section. Mr. Lalji Daniel has included phrases like clamp down. There is a sudden action that is taken in order to stop an illegal activity. Then settle a score to hurt or punish somebody who has harmed or cheated you in the past. Then he has given the pronunciation for C-O-U-P pronounced as coup, a sudden change of government that is illegal and often violent. Then the idiomatic expression Keep something in dark. Keep something as a secret. So, when we analyze the news as a whole, we see that 
Mr. Nishab Abdul Karim has covered the major headlines effectively and efficiently. Good vocabulary collection by Lalji Daniel, sweet rendition by Sophia Teacher. Kudos to the entire daily headlines team. This is Arun Lakshman here, wishing you a happy Sunday. Signing off. Thank you. Thank you.